Revenge films. I went to my friend Allie's wedding the other day. She and I worked together. But the groom didn't show up, and neither did his parents. All the relatives were panicking, and the bride didn't come out of her room. So her dad had no choice but to cancel the wedding. It just became a regular dinner party. Nobody knew what happened, but there was all kinds of theories going around. The relatives on the groom's side went around apologizing to everyone. I kind of felt bad. Then, a few days later, I got a call from Allie. She explained everything that happened. The groom, Bob, had his ex, but she didn't want to quit her job after getting married, so he broke up with her. Then, he met Allie and decided to get married. Everything was going well. But then, his ex came into the picture again. She told him that she'll quit her job if he still wants to marry her. And Bob still had feelings for her, so he said yes. So, basically, he was cheating on Allie all this time. He tried to tell her many times, but couldn't. Then, it was the day of the wedding. Bob panicked and decided to ditch the wedding. And when he told his parents that he wasn't going, they decided to ditch the wedding too. Unbelievable! Who does that, right? Didn't they realize what this would do to their guests? Their relatives? So selfish! I felt really bad for the relatives. And even when Allie's parents went to see Bob's parents, they didn't answer the door. I couldn't believe what I was hearing! I told her, Hey, you dodged a bullet here. Forget that jerk! Still, what kind of person does that to his fiance? I was so mad for what they did to my friend. But with Bob gone, how did she find out about all this? Well, turns out this ex was one of her subordinates. Why did all of this happen? Why did he ditch the wedding? Allie trusted Bob completely, so she had no idea what happened to her. She didn't even know about the affair. But a few days later, she got a text from the ex. She confessed to everything. But from what I heard, she was getting fired soon. So she knew she wasn't going to see her again. She just wanted to get some things off of her conscience. Hallie told me about her before. She was really bad at her job. No wonder she got fired. That's probably why she decided to get back with Bob. But she knew about Allie and Bob. She had to. And Allie was her boss. She covered for her countless times. Everyone kind of avoided her because she was so useless. But Allie kept trying to teach her the ropes. Ugh, I'm so mad at her! <laughs> Allie asked the company if she could come work for them again since the wedding was cancelled. And they were more than happy to have her back. She was brilliant and really talented. Her colleagues heard about what happened and tried to comfort her when she returned. Bob worked as a salesman for one of the clients we did business with. But everyone at work found out about what he did. Hallie was really talented, but she never bragged about it. And she treated everyone with respect, including Bob's ex. So everyone at work loved her. But Bob's reputation went down the drain. Plus, a lot of people knew about his affair. A few months after the wedding, there were some new developments. For starters, none of us wanted to see Bob ever again, so he got taken off the team. Allie was coming back, and the thought of seeing him made me sick, so I was pretty happy about that. I think the higher-ups pulled some strings to make it happen. Our company was pretty big. And to Bob's company? We were a pretty big account. I heard they threatened to terminate the contract if they didn't get rid of Bob or something. 
Their CEO even came and apologized in person. Afterwards, Bob got transferred to some dead-end position. He was done for. Then, one day, I ran into the relatives I saw at the wedding. I'm really sorry about the other day. No, it's okay. Then she told me about what happened after the wedding. Apparently, they had a big family meeting with all of the relatives after the incident. And they tore Bob's parents apart. Your son is a terrible person! Shame on you. We had to apologize to everyone at the wedding. What the hell is wrong with you? You better make this right. We're gonna sue you. <laughs> he was having an affair? That's why he ditched the wedding? You've gotta be kidding me. I heard Bob had no choice but to break it off with her. After the family meeting, his parents told him to end things with her once and for all. And so, she was all alone again. And Bob got transferred to the middle of nowhere, so she couldn't see him even if she wanted to. And she couldn't get a new job anywhere. She had no marketable skills. So now she was alone and broke. She was done for. As for Allie, she was back and killing it. And considering what she just went through, it was pretty impressive. Unlike Bob, she was loved by everyone at work. So everyone helped her get back on her feet. Allie's parents were really shocked about what happened. But they were really happy to learn that she had a lot of friends who cared about her very much. When they called off the wedding, it was pretty awkward at first. But after a little while, everyone started talking about Allie, so I guess that's how they found out. They were really upset about what happened. But in the end, her mom thanked everyone for being such good friends. Everyone started crying when she said that, including Allie. I still feel really bad for what happened. After all, it was her wedding. But Allie is a wonderful person. I'm sure she'll find someone much better than that loser. Good luck, Allie. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.